Hi guys, welcome to this short demonstration of the failover function in uh, the Zerto product. First we're going to have a look at the virtual protection group to see uh, what the properties are um, for the failover machine. Um, we're going to change the NIC configuration of the failover machine. So it has a new MAC address and a new IP address at the failover site. So the failover site is the 101.0.40 address with a subnet mask of 24. Default gateway 10.101.101. And a preferred DNS server on the um, primary lab location. And we're going to copy that to the test machine. Okay. Now we can save it. I'll show you the configuration of the disk on the other side. It's on the recovery data store. In creating VBG, we can also choose to uh, precede it. But that's a different topic. Now let's start a failover. Now it's very easy. We choose the um, machine we want to fail over or the VBG we want to fail over, and we just hit fail over. A wizard pops up, we choose the machine, we choose a checkpoint we want to revert to. That can be one in the history we chosen or we can just choose for the last checkpoint and that's what we're gonna do. And we'll hit next and we're gonna just hit failover to start the process. Now everything happens automatically. And to see if the machine comes up, we're going to start a ping in a moment to the machine in the um, failover location with the IP we just specified. So I'm going to start the ping, ping 10.101.0.40, continuous ping. I'm going to fast forward it for a moment. It comes back up and it needs some time to stabilize. And there it is. Now we're going to look if it's also functioning correctly. So it's an RDS server. So we're going to log in with RDP to check if everything's working fine. Let's, okay, let's start a session. We're co connecting to the machine. This year, I'll error, but it's no problem. And we're logging into the machine. Just fine. So, and now we're, now we know the VM is working correctly in the failover test. It's okay. So, we're gonna close the machine. As the failover test completed successfully, we can now stop the failover test by pressing the red square and confirm that we want to stop the failover test and mark it as passed. And Zerto will now clean up uh, the failover machine and revert everything to as it was. Uh, this completes this demonstration of the Zerto failover test. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed the video and hope to see you soon on the CloudFix. Thank you guys.